and I think this whole vlog is going to be based around food. Yeah, I hope I haven't made you too hungry in this vlog. Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of me in Madrid as a Erasmus student. This is now week seven and I'm back at it again trying different food. Now it's not necessarily really different but well it's something different for me to try here in Madrid and this is the closest thing I can buy in a supermarket to what I get at home and what I have quite a lot at home and so this is what I'm making. This is a tomato and parmesan sauce mixed in with tricolor pasta. And the reason I've got tricolor pasta is because it's supposed to be healthier and they don't have wholemeal pasta, so this is the next best thing. And I'm really hoping it was nice because the last sauce I had wasn't too nice. And then I've also got just a bit of cheddar cheese. They didn't have a, a grater, so I had to attempt to cut it. But I only wanted enough to put on top, so I'll probably break it up and put it on top. In the UK, I have this type of food quite regularly. And I usually have some form of pasta with sauce, and it, it's usually like whatever sauce is in the supermarket. In Here in Madrid, it's a little bit dif different, and so I've had to go to a different supermarket to get this sauce. And... Yeah, we'll see how it is. If it's good, then next time I'll buy it and I'll throw a bit of chicken in with it. And I've even got bolognese sauce, which I'll be trying out over the next few days. Ooh. Fingers crossed, it's nice. It's now Tuesday evening, and I've been in university all day with lectures and I've just been doing a lot. I've been doing things like website design and I've been designing some user interface and that was part of a lecture, that one was. And I've just been in and out of lectures and just designing and I've just been on a call with a guy named Luke Williams. I was on a call with him last week as well, looking at sales and the way that I approach people. And he gave me a few tips around that. Yesterday, that meal, it went quite well. I'll probably buy it again because the sauce is okay. Today I'm going to try out a spaghetti bolognese sauce, so fingers crossed that goes well. I haven't actually got spaghetti, I've got pasta, so it's my own alternative, pasta bolognese. Today it's been quite a crazy day. I've been out since like half seven this morning and I didn't get back until about quarter to six p.m. and then I had a call straight away and then I got off the call and it's just been a bit hectic so I'm quite happy that today is ending and I can start tomorrow with a fresh because yeah it's just been a bit crazy. Yeah that's, that's it. Hello everyone it's now Wednesday evening and it's, what time is it? It's now 20 past 10 in the evening and I've just finished doing a bit of work. Yeah, I've been working a lot today, pretty much the whole day actually, besides lectures of course. And I've had a bit of good news actually. I've been told that I'm allowed to use my business for two assignments so far in my university assignments. So that's great because it means I get a bit of help basically on pushing my business forward, technically. And it gets all the planning stuff done because it has to be done as opposed to because I want to do it because I know if it was left to me wanting to do it, it would probably get pushed back a lot. And so the fact that I'm doing it with the university is great. And yeah, I've basically been focusing on that today and I've just made a plan on paper um, on a Word document. And it's crazy how I had this massive idea in my head, but then when I put it on paper, I expect it to be like three lines and I've just filled a page and a half easily and so the reason I made this was because I'm sending it off to a guy called David Meltzer well I'm sending it to his assistant and 
I'm going to try and get on one of his programs because he's a really big entrepreneur, he does sports marketing and he knows a lot about business and he's really calm and relaxed all the time and so I think I can learn a lot from him and I'm pretty sure I can. That's why I made that document and it's also been really good for me to get all my ideas down and know exactly where I am in regards to business. So that's basically me for today, I've just been on my laptop all day, smashing out a website, um, speaking to some friends from home which I haven't spoke to really since I've been here, checking up, making sure everything's okay and yeah just mainly focusing on business besides the lectures really. So yeah it's been a really positive day and I've got lots of enthusiasm running through my brains and lots of business and that's probably why I might be talking slightly faster. Yesterday I made spaghetti bolognese and I was a bit nervous because the first time I made it it didn't go out very well and this time I bought a different sauce, I made sure it was bolognese sauce and I bought different meat and it turned out fine, it was completely great and it was nice. Today I'm trying to get a pizza, I've realised that this week's been a lot about food. I have a, a lot of croissants today, I've had 12 croissants, yeah it's a bit bad. But yeah, today I'm having a big barbecue pizza and I'm looking forward to it um, and then I'm going to bed because it's a bit late and tomorrow I haven't really got anything on so I'm going to be smashing that business. There's a lot of business going on at the moment because I'm very close to launching and I've started to reach out to people. But yeah, I think it's time for me to put my pizza in and I've just put a questions tab out on Instagram so answer a few questions on there and then watch a bit of TV and go to bed. TV helps me relax. Um, so I don't watch it because I want to, but I kind of do want to because it helps my brain, like it takes my brain off business and marketing and all of that for a long enough time in order to allow me to go to sleep without thinking, oh, what's my next idea, what am I doing, what, what's going on, what's my next content creation idea, what's my next video idea, etc. But yeah, I've been talking for like four minutes now, so I think it's time for me to say goodnight. Goodnight, and I will see you on Friday. I'll see you on Thursday. I am back editing again. It's now Thursday, by the way. Yeah, so I uh, early on this week I had a call with a 16-year-old girl called Layla, and she lives in Canada. She was telling me about her goals and that she wants to get started in business, asking me for a bit of advice. And it was amazing how like driven and switched on she was. Because I know when I was at age, I messed around quite a bit. And so it was surprising to see and it was nice to see. And I'm still keeping in touch with her. And yeah, it was just a good call. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. now half six I'm probably gonna edit until about half seven I want to go to bed a bit earlier today I'm gonna try and get up 5 a.m. tomorrow I know I've said this a few times but we will get there <laughs> we will get there tonight I've got another spaghetti bolognese and I think this whole vlog is going to be based around food yeah I hope I haven't made you too hungry in this vlog just cooking the pasta bolognese now it's looking good. And here is the final product. Friday. And I've been to a lecture and now I'm going to edit and that's why I'm gonna finish up here. I had one question this week which was basically how I edit and what I edit and what I use to edit. And the software that I use is called Shotcut. It's free, I downloaded it online so you guys can go and check that out. Shotcut. And just before I finish, I'm looking at doing an Instagram live, so make sure you check out my Instagram at Gareth G Rafferty, I'll include it below. And I'd love to know what topics and what your thoughts are about that, and I'd love to see you on it. And second, would you like me to do more intellectual videos talking about business, or do you like the vlog style? And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.